but uh, his gold medal also came in Berlin with Haydn, and he's got $148,000 in prize money. Best of three set match to see who'll go through to the final. USA in blue serving, Mexico in green receiving this semi-final game to see who will go through to the gold medal match. And this could be a very good start here for the USA. Biden has a look. Nice dig. What a rally to start off the first point of this uh, semi-final game. Wow, that was fantastic. All of that just for the first point. Bourne hammers it away. Haydn gets to serve again. Tiveros puts that one down. At 185, he's definitely going to be the player you'd expect the USA to go after just because of the physicality. He's not going to be able to hit the ball as high on the net, which is 2 metres 43. Eight foot, same height as the crossbar in soccer, football, however you want to describe it. But when you kind of put it into that perspective, for Ontiveros, he's got an awful lot of work to do to get his side out. Well, that ball's gone on to Bergen, and it's come straight over from Ontiveros. Nice play from him. Try born late to get in on the action at the net. So USA with the serve, you're going to have to ignore the graphic just for a moment. It's not Spain, Russia, that was uh, the first semi-final. It's the uh, USA with the blue and it's uh, Mexico with the green triangle. USA winning 4-2, Haydn with the serve again. And change, best of seven, just one point separating the team, and it's Haydn and Bourne who uh, have their noses in front. And dare I say it, actually, just out of looking at the ages, it was uh, is feasible. But, uh, Bourne is young enough to be the son of Haydn. Haydn, at uh, nearly 44 years of age, would have made him 17, of course, when he would have had to have had uh, Bourne. Well, that's the scores as it stands. USA 5-3 up, making all the right moves at the moment. USA through to this semi-final without any losses. And when I, uh, you'd probably be thinking, well, of course not. How could you get here if you had had a loss? Well, the way that the uh, tournament is set up, it's uh, pool play. So you uh, are guaranteed three matches. Cross-court block signaled both sides. That does mean, oh, a serve. Lucky, lucky serve from uh, Bergen. But that's the way the game goes. USA not expecting to put his hand up to apologize, and he wasn't going to apologize. Still the same call, cross court blocks. However, uh, Haydn gets over the top of Bergen, and the ball goes down. Talking of pool play, you could lose two matches in pool play and still qualify through to the knockout stages. The USA, though, won all their pool matches 2-0. They won their uh, second-round game 2-0 against Turkey, and then they beat uh, Karambula and Ranieri 
of uh, Italy, the number three seeds, 23, 21, 21, 18, and Carambula and uh, Ranieri really having a fine run this season, the Italian duo. And if you're just trying to recollect who they might be, think Skyball, and you know who I mean, and glasses at night. That's uh, Adrian Carambula. He's almost the uh, the beach version of Enga Peth, isn't he? The uh, French hitter on the indoor game. Plays for Medina Volley in Italy. And is the star of the French national team right now. Carambula very much in his image on the beach for Italy. Good leave, good call by Haydn. So the team's all square at the moment, no one making any real uh, inroads, not just yet. But for those of you that are watching the uh, game earlier on, you'll know and uh, would have seen that as far as this first set goes, it's almost a non-set, psychologically that is. If you lose it, you just put it to the back of your mind and get ready for the fact that you're going to win the next two. If you win it, you know very much there could still be two to go. It's almost a dress rehearsal in some instances, particularly if the teams are, are very evenly matched. Although winning the first set is always a good thing to do. You don't want to give yourself too much to do if you can help it. Haydn went the right way. Just didn't get his uh, legs in the right positions where he could be strong enough to actually contain the ball, could he? Almost. Well, he got one under the other. It's almost like he was uh, sidestepping on a tightrope. Nice dig from Monteveros, but despite Bergen's best efforts, wasn't sure which way to run. Zigzagging under the net, couldn't bring it back. Strong rotation this now for the USA. Try Bourne at the net, ready to block. Haydn prefers playing defence from the sand. That's a good serve. Ontiveros sending that one behind him. Now Bourne waiting and ready to pounce. Haydn once again. That's a good read from Haydn. And now the USA have a better opportunity to put this one away. And look at that, Vergen got drawn in. He wasn't sure what to do then. Do I go in and block? And he ended up doing nothing. Became statuesque in no man's land. And a lovely line roll from Haydn. And now the USA have opened up a three-point lead. It just looked as if then Haydn must have been slightly off balance, you feel, as he went after that. And also he was up he was upright, wasn't he? So uh, it was very close to him. Hontiveros with the serve. Not quite finding that baseline. That's why Mexico have gone off to try Bourne. He might be the young gun with all the athleticism, but he's made a few mistakes. Technical timeout, USA with a one-point lead.
Bourne finds a good angle cross court. Really good serve. Excellent serve from Bourne. Monteveros not moving his feet quickly enough, couldn't get round, going at full stretch to his left. As a right hander, left side is always generally the weaker side. That was another serve that was uh, probing the sideline. Fortunately for Mexico, didn't find it. Mexico have had a very good 2016 season. They finished off the 2015 season with a second place in Antalya, making the final. And then they've had two fifths, followed by two ninths. So in the top ten, first four tournaments of the year. And very much a team on their way to qualifying for the Olympic Games. This is the uh, qualifying year. All the uh, matches, or oh, sorry, all the tournaments have been compressed somewhat to fit in with the qualifying season too. With Rio just around the corner, still points up for grabs, still teams jostling for position to try and be on the plane to Rio. With Brazil hosting. Those uh, two teams from each gender have been decided already for the men. It's uh, Alison and Bruno. Along with Pedro and Evandro. For the women, it's uh, Larissa and Talita. Along with uh, Barbara Seixas and her partner. Well, that's not quite going to come back. So, a good swing from Mexico. Those old legs of uh, Haydn, not quite stable enough to keep the ball in play. Spike from the USA, and they're very much in control of this set, aren't they? Blocking signals have been given. It doesn't matter though, Bergen makes an error. And it's a four point lead now for the USA. Mexico may well be thinking about the timeout. when there is no coach sometimes you forget those things however Montiveros not forgetting that block from Borne is all over it isn't he well we're gonna dispense with the puns 
like born supremacy at the net. But that was a pretty special block. Oh, nice reach. Good joust. And now who did it come off for? Oh, it was deemed to have come off Mexico. Sutti says it was off Vergen and into the antenna and not off of Tri Born. Nice reach. Continuation block. Good reactions. And then onto the joust. And yes, good play. Born off Vergen and into the antenna. Born was going later and later and later. In the end, jumped, got in Haydn's way. Well, that was close to being called for a carry. Maybe should have been, but as uh, Mexico take the point, it doesn't really matter. Set point then for the USA, just one more required. And they'll have this first one in the bag, nothing short of what they deserve based on their play. Bourne getting his uh, blocking instructions from Haydn. He's going to break from the net with this one, wisely so. Bourne for the set. Oh, good pick up. Oh, excellent reactions, but he doesn't come back. Really good play, Ontiveros fighting like a fish on a chopping board to make sure that one didn't hit the sand as he wriggled his way over and got that ball. Mexico stave off the first point. Lovely pickup. Set point number two for the USA. <coughs> good break by Bergen. And a good swing. Two set points saved. Mexico getting in the heads of the USA, maybe. stretched and denied putting the ball on the sand that's a lovely ball up by Ontiveros and a great swing from Bergen three set points saved USA will no doubt be thinking timeout timeout it is easy to think the job's done when you're 20 15 up USA having to refocus and reset as they look for a side out. with the serve. 
USA still searching for side out to take the sets, and it's gifted to them. Vergen went for it. The timeout came just at the right time for the USA. They take the first set, 21-18, much to their relief. Well, this is a huge, huge match, really, for the USA, for Heiden and Born. There are three teams competing for two spots for the Olympic Games. We've got Dalhauser and Lesena. Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lusena. And then you have Casey Patterson and Jake Gibb as well. So Hyden and Bourne need the points. Here are the highlights then from the match so far. Here we go with the second set, Mexico with serve. USA with that one set in the bag, looking to get side out, which they do. Um, try, Bourne. Mexico lost their opening game of this tournament to Austria's uh, Dressler and Kunet. 18-21, 24-22, 12-15. Good angle from Bourne. They then went on to win all their remaining matches. And they actually beat the number two seeds from Latvia, Alexander Samoylovs and Yanis Schmedins. The number two seeds, they beat them 21-14, 21-19, in just over half an hour to make it to this semi-final. Previously, it's been straight sets victories for the USA. Their uh, biggest scout being uh, Karen Bula and Ranieri of Italy, the number three seeds. Nice play from Heider. Haydn come to the uh, beach game relatively late at 37. Only six seasons on tour for him, 40 tournaments. Good work by Juan Vergen. 29 year old who's been on the tour for 13 seasons. Coming up with an excellent shot. Chase is on. Oh, good work. Born waiting really for the hand to come up. And as soon as it did, he said, Thank you very much. That's wipe off town. Similar to Spike Town. Flirts with the net almost every time, doesn't he? Which means that Bourne knows if he can get the angles right, he should be able to shut him down more times than not. to be doesn't have the height or the power of uh, the players around him
Well, USA doing just enough at the moment, aren't they? Keeping their uh, points, keeping their noses in front, even though it's just by one point for now. Side out's important. Good reactions from Bourne. As soon as that ball hit the top of the net, it became that little bit easier. As all the pace was taken out of the ball. You can see very clearly they've become two timings. You talk about uh, serve receivers, the uh, serve receivers. We look at the blocking instructions that Bourne's uh, given. The line block and then going after the ball. You have timing one and timing two. So the timing you take as a passer as the ball is on its way to the net, and then the timing you take movement you make from the ball as it comes over the net two distinct ones when the ball hits the net because it changes directory and speed and all sorts and then you have your timings and preparations from your pass into the set and then back out to you again so much information to take on board and things to be done that however wasn't necessarily the thing that Bourne wishes he'd done Born still the subject of Mexico's attentions and still signing out and still delivering for his country. Uh, seven all in the first set, replicated here in the second. At what point will the USA break away, or will it be Mexico who take the initiative? Oh, lovely high hands D from Vergen. Can he convert? Not quite. Free ball here for the USA. And a hurry up offense. Bergen was uh, ready for it as Haydn tried to go off the block and out of play. And it's an error by Ontiveros that hands USA the point. Always a shame when a rally ends on an error. Would have been something, hadn't it, if that ball had hit the line and it finished on a point. having a field day at the net that's where all the USA's points are coming from at the moment when they are getting them off the back of their serve it's that man at the net interesting little side out uh, from Mexico. It looked like Bergen was going to go behind and then he little the arc back in front. Double bluffing the block. Easier to do on this slightly compacted sand due to the rain we've had than it would be on the sand where you're uh, up to it in your ankles. And that was a good leave. Also suspicion Bergen may have caught the baseline with his foot. Bourne will serve and go through to block. Nice play, Bergen going over the top of Bourne with that play. That's why Ontiveros is a more tempting target.
once again, Ontiveros. He likes to uh, kind of edge towards the centre of court, Ontiveros. Those cross-court angles to his left in that position. There's acres of room. And it's exploited by the USA. Well, that was a chance. Hayden a little slow to react. So another carbon copy of the first set. 11-10 USA lead as they did in the first. Juan Vergen with the serve then for Mexico. Ha! Well, that is a huge sigh of relief for Tri Bourne. He decided to go over. But it was right where Ontiveros was waiting. And he nearly embarrassed himself. And then thinks, oh, right, got a block line. And he makes a massive block, doesn't he? And Ontiveros gets a good angle. Bourne doesn't take it away. Mexico have the side out. Tough serve. A huge, huge dollop of luck for the USA. If that had gone Mexico's way, that could have been a turning point in the set. Hayden readies himself to serve. Juan Vergen goes off the block and out. USA kind of mixing it up between the two of them, really. There's no discernible game plan from serve at the moment. Or at least not for us watching. Now well, Vergen brings the heat from serve and Bourne brings it from the spike that was a belter wasn't it cross court nice serve well dealt with and an excellent side out with the error and Mexico level the scores I was just wondering whether or not the USA are gonna make a, a break try and get through and, and move away from Mexico they did that in the first set but if they're not careful it could be Mexico who do that and send this into a decider Antiveros likely to go after Haydn he has just made an error Oh, 
Oh, and it pays off. Bit of a miss hit from Vergen. Has that one come off his fingertips? But it's Haydn now who's under the cosh. Diveros waiting for that one. Has to come over. Another chance for Mexico. Oh, brilliant block from Vaughan. Where did that come from? Bergen had outfoxed him. It looked like he had a free net. Vaughan was scrabbling to his left and somehow gets across. Watch Vaughan. He's like, oh, no, I'm out of position. I'm out of position. And now I'm in position. Brilliant block. Well, Hayden can't back it up. Hardly a breath of wind here on centre court. Good serve by Vergen. Hyde comes up with a really good play to get that one down the middle. But Mexico sensing that he's the player now they're going to unload on. They too, a little bit like the USA, were mixing it up between the two players. Where did that come from? What a serve from Bourne! Right down the line. It looked from the uh, commentary position as if he'd uh, mishit it. And that was a really good ace serve. This time goes straight on to Veros, makes a good touch. And another one. No, oh, big net touch. Who got it? Oh, it was Bourne who touched the net. Vergen was in there as well, but he was after the fact. Just checking who's going to serve on Tiberos. It will be the exciting end to this second set. <laughs> Poor pass from Hayden, punished by Vergen. Mexico in front at the business end of this second set. Always in trouble from the pass. And what a time for Mexico to come up with the block. Bergen gets the better of Haydn. Now, what is the uh, other states we're going to do? Well, first thing he's going to do is call the timeout. Mexico are hitting him hard, he needs to take a breather, he needs to take on some fluid, he needs to refocus, he needs to get his mindset right, and he needs to come out and side out. Great play from Mexico and Haydn right now. Dare I say it can't hit his way out of a paper bag. 
set point for Mexico. Oh, that's a little too tight. It is way too tight. And Haydn complaining that the ball was played by Mexico too early. Complain all he might. It's Mexico who take the second set. We're going into a decider. Confirmation then of the scores. 21-18 to the USA, 21-17 to Mexico. Now it's a race to 15. No technical timeouts, change ends at five points. This for a place in the final. Well, a very poor end to that set, wasn't it, for the USA in terms of Haydn and uh, his inability to get the side out. Errors and blocks as we have a look at the highlights. Bourne was excellent. Haydn knows that his own individual game needs to step up a bit. He's got to be a little smarter with his hitting, a little bit more precise perhaps with his passing. One foot Yahoo didn't work for Mexico. Okay, so away we go with this deciding set. USA with the serve. A race to 15 to see who'll go through to the final. Monteveros looking for that side act, which he gets. Brilliant swing. Lombardo Monteveros, 32 years of age, just 1 meter 85, 6 foot 2, and he rose like a salmon and dropped the hammer. So Haydn gets uh, a confidence boost with that cross-court play. He knows he's going to get pretty much every serve now in this set, if he didn't already. Veros gets that one somehow past Bourne. He can't quite believe that did go past him. Might have gone under him. Well, that's another tool that the USA can use. Hyde unable to pop that one up in the air for Bourne to swing on the second touch, especially as Mexico hadn't got their block formed. Nice play on Tiveros with the shots. Bergen just holding Bourne, making out like he was going to have a swing on the ball before he set it out to Antiveros. Lovely set from uh, Triborn, up and down, didn't go to the net, in a good place where Haydn could make a shot, and that's all you need to do. You don't get two points for hitting it hard. Pokey fest. And a good swing off the block and out. So Bourne serve doing the damage. 
giving them the free ball back and putting them one in front. Still waiting to decide what he's going to call. Last minute decisions from Bourne. Good reach by Hayden. Equally good one by Bergen. And a nice put away by Mexico. Nice work from Bourne. Just rolling that one over the block. Oh, good act. Lovely play. Well, not sure Bourne knew much about that. He got a face full of volleyball, but still had the presence of mind to make the dig off the back of the uh, smash into the face, losing his hat, losing his glasses, but not losing his cool. And it's the USA who take the point. Mexico under pressure, struggling, but they get the side out. going for the angle but a little too much on it now giving himself a good talking to so frustrating when you make those kind of errors knowing what it was you're trying to do oh good work from Hayden He's pulling it all out of the bag right now, isn't he? Pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Only two teams from one country can represent that country at the Olympic Games. Right now, the USA have three teams vying for two spots. It's Haydn and Bourne. 
Was that one? They're showing a line block against Bergen and going after the ball against Ontiveros. He's not quite sure where to go. Ontiveros just, well, kind of ghosting around the block at the moment. This is like a little Mexican ninja popping up and putting the ball away where you least expect him to. Mexico, Antiveros is furious with himself. That was an opportunity. Mexico didn't take it. You know he's going to make him. Question is when. And what a great time to come up with that one. He'd been trying desperately to find the angle, to find the place to stop Ontiveros, and he did it. And that's why he was showing the fist to uh, Haydn, because he just wasn't sure quite what Ontiveros was going to do, and decided, you know what, I'm going to have to make my decision probably in the air as I'm going up. So Shane, I'm just going to go after the ball gives Highland that opportunity to say, OK, fine, well, I need to play a defence based around setting up on the power and chasing the uh, roll shots without really factoring in the block in that, in that department. But it's come up with a wonderful point now for the USA. Mexico calling the timeout. Apologies for me talking over the timeout, but we can't actually hear what the guys are saying because the, uh, the cameras are on them. Yeah, there is no microphone near enough to hear what they're saying, otherwise I would, of course, shut up. So another push required here by the USA. A point from serve now would be magnificent, wouldn't it? There's a chance to keep it off the sand anyway, but it won't come back. That was unlucky. Bourne actually dug it into his hat. Certainly rolled up his arms anyway, didn't quite go where he wanted it to. Hyden turned by the ball. In fact, he did dig it into his hat, I thought he had. Change up, Mexico going after Tri Born, and they probably wish they hadn't bothered doing that now. Well, it's always a good idea to test the guy who hasn't been passing the ball, but really, with the way that Highland's been playing, you just want to unload everything on him right now, especially in this situation. Born's on fire, he's buzzing, he's tuned into everything. He desperately wants to get the ball, and we just saw that from the way he sided it out. Hyden then with the serve. Top angle again from Bergen. That's what makes these two so difficult to play against. They've both got the shots, they've both got the skills, they can both bring the heat. And actually, even though Ontiveros is only 185, what we're quite clearly seeing is it doesn't make a great deal of difference, does it, at this level when you're that good? Like Bruno for uh, Brazil, probably one of the best players. Well, Mexico in big trouble now. Bruno, you have to say, one of the best uh, defenders on the sand, best siders, siders out of the ball. It's a big point that for the USA, keeps them two in front still. Ontiveros now with some work to do. Oh, that's hit. Born in the face again. He had no clue where it had gone. The 
spread block and the ball going in between his arms. Hence why his uh, cap went flying. Bergen. Well, that's a really good pass from Haydn. Good dig on Tiveros. And a lovely side out. Oh, Bourne's a little frustrated, but he needn't be. That was excellent play from Mexico. Bergen again. That was a magnificent angle from Triborn. And clever play as well from Haydn. He knew the block was there, he knew he wasn't going to be able to swing hard, so he just played it into the block to come back out to recycle the ball. And then Bourne comes up with that beauty. Pretty tense now, isn't it? USA two away from the gold medal match. Mexico looking for side out to draw level. Same blocking tactics again. Bourne playing a guessing game. That's a good break from the net. Chance here for the USA. Oh, that one doesn't go down. It does now, though. In style. As Bourne drops the hammer. And it brings up match point for the USA. Breath being taken by Mexico. No timeout available for them. Haydn with the serve. Ontiveros. Oh, it's luck for the USA. They don't care though. Haydn wraps it off the net and down it goes. USA take the match. And Bergen's rush of blood going over on two as he should have put it up to Ontiveros. Costs Mexico the game. But great play from Haydn, who was under the cosh big time in the last two sets. He makes a stunning pickup. Bourne gets it in play, and then look at that. Just good use of the net. And Haydn celebrates the victory with Bourne. They're through to the final. Confirmation of the score.